Uh, hey, Scott, I, I was printing a test chip and the bees did not stick together very well on this one. Uh, what did I do wrong? It looks to me like your Z height is set too high, Sarah. Uh, having your Z height set properly is the foundation of every good print. Without this, the layers of the print will not bond to each other or the print bed. Often you can see this while it's printing. So can the Z height get adjusted too low? The Z height can be too low. If you set it too low, it'll compress the first layer, and then on your second layer, it can drag across and actually rip the print off the bed. That's not good. So you're gonna to wanna to reset your extruder height. Okay. And to do that, you typically wanna use a 6,000th of an inch shim. Or what I like to do is use a post-it note, fold it in half because I don't normally carry a 6,000th inch shim with me. So what I do, I loosen the extruder off with a three millimeter wrench, and I set the post-it note underneath of the extruder hood. You can then drag underneath and make sure that there's a little bit of tension with the piece of paper and the extruder. Then I tighten the extruder back down, pull the post-it note back out, and you're ready to try again with the chip. As you can see, the foundation of this print looks much better, uh, and you're gonna be much more successful moving forward after this calibration print. Well, this was very helpful. And this is step one out of nine in building your 3D printing skills. For more information or to request your free sample, click the link below or send us a message and stay tuned for our next video.